Okay, the BL Touch has been mounted properly to your printer, I hope. Now we need to get some software. If you haven't heard of how we're gonna do this, we need to start off with the Arduino IDE. So hop into Google, download this software. And here it is, boom. Now let's go ahead and pick the appropriate one for your operating system. And I'm not going to contribute and let this download okay now that it's done downloading let's go ahead and install it yes i agree next next installing now while that's installing let's go over to facebook yes facebook why because facebook has great resources for things like 3d printers and the tivo tarantula Boom, Facebook group. You need to go ahead and join this group if you haven't already because it is a great community, especially if you have problems because you can get help here. Let's go over the file section. Control F, type in Marlin. And there we go. There is the community version of Marlin made for the TiVo. Hopefully you can find one for your printer if you're not using a TiVo. TiVo. Download, close this, have that installed, and we're going to delete that, drag this out here, ABL, no ABL, yes, what does this mean, auto bed leveling, this means you don't have an auto bed leveler, this means you do, let's go ahead and grab that configuration file, this is the most important file right here for everything, you'll ever need or just about we're going to paste this into the marlin folder now let's go ahead and find marlin.ino open it up here we go once you get this opened go ahead and just verify compile it make sure it compiles and mine is done compiling compiled with no errors Go over to here, make sure you set this up to Arduino Mega 2560. Very important because that's what the TiVo Tarantula, TiVo Tarantula uses. Make sure you set up your board appropriately. Port, when you plug in your printer, a port's gonna pop up. Make sure it's the right port. And you can just click upload and that'll upload it straight to your printer, it takes forever. Now let's go ahead and set this up. Configuration file. This is gonna take a minute. It's not too bad. We just need to make sure we find and adjust everything. Now I've done this before, so I don't expect you to be able to scroll through here like this and find what you need. Here we go. Z, min, and stop inverting. The BL touch, it's upside down, I believe. For the end stop, so we need to reverse it because we removed, we unplug the other Z end stop. Now the BL touch is the end stop. Z probe options. Let's see, there's an important one here. There it is. Invert stepper direction. If you follow the directions for the TiVo printer, your stepper is on the left side. The community version set it up for true. Whoever did this, their stepper, I believe, is on the right side. So go ahead and change that to whatever is appropriate for where your stepper is for the Y axis, moving forwards and back. Okay auto bed leveling grid now this makes this pretty much makes a square and now that we have a BL touch on the outside to the right of the printer head we don't want it coming off the bed and that's what this is this is a grid of where the BL touch printer head is going to be hitting 30 millimeters to the right or upward you know if this makes a square I don't know exactly where these positions are, but they need to be adjusted because this is the right side of the bed, 170 millimeters to the right from the left side. 
And the BL Touch, I believe, is something like 38 millimeters even further to the right from the printer head. So this needs to be adjusted. Otherwise, your printer head is going to ram into your bed. We don't want that. So for safety, let's go ahead and set this up to 140, 140. And afterward, you can come back and adjust this if you want your BL Touch to go ahead and hit those corners perfectly. And this one right here, I like to set this to three because I like it to hit nine points. If you do it two, it's gonna hit four points. These four corners, hit it up to three, it's gonna hit all the points in between that, making it nine. You could try four, I've never tried it, but that might do 16 points. If you have a really warped bed, maybe it might be useful, not sure. Now, uncomment this. How do you un or comment this out by making two slashes that will make this code not compile? So it's like you deleted it, but you didn't. This is the default auto bed leveler that came with the TiVo. We have a BL Touch. Now, I believe that is it. There are some other things you could do right here. I'm not going to do it, it's too much work. So instead of adjusting these, these settings up here appropriately, the way we did, you can go ahead and leave those as default, 3170, and do an offset, if you know the offset of your BL Touch to the printer head. But I don't wanna do that. I believe the LPA fan, the person who made that has a little table that you can use and it has those measurements already and you could just throw them in there. And let's scroll all the way to the bottom. Servos. Define number of servos. We have one. The BL Touch has a servo inside of it for adjusting the pin. And it is an end stop servo. Boom. I don't know what this does. I think it's 90, 10. Let's go ahead and verify that really quick. Make sure. I'm not leading you guys astray. Let's go to one, one of my other configuration files. Scrolling up 1090, see? Ugh, almost led you guys astray. And I think that's it. Let's go ahead and compile this. Make sure this compiles. And if it compiles, then this is ready to go. Ready to be uploaded and then set up. And look at that, done compiling. So we can go ahead and plug in our printer and upload this. And then we just have to set it up. So hopefully you have um, Simplify 3D. That's what I'm going to be using. You can go ahead and buy it or download it in whatever way you want or use the appropriate um, application that you download because there's free free ones out there.